Our next speaker is Christian Thompson. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. showtime. Good evening. My name is Christian, and tonight I came here, uh, just like uh, I think it was Susan said earlier, or Sarah, sorry, to challenge you, but I'm going to get to that later. Um, tonight I'm going to be talking to you about two of my favorite things, um, the guitar, my guitar, the Shiva, and my smartphone, which they wouldn't actually let me bring on stage. It's over there somewhere. Um, and I'm going to talk about the lessons that they have for education in the 21st century. But before we get to that, I want to talk about a couple teachers that inspired me, and maybe one or two that hopefully inspired you. The first is Robin Williams as John Keating in Dead Poet Society. Yeah, yeah. Give it up for Robin Williams. Um, and the reason I think we liked him was that he taught passion, but the most important thing was that he brought out the creativity in his students. And you've heard that theme continuously tonight, creativity, passion, and all that sort of thing. Um, the other teacher is Jaime Escalante. I don't know how many of you know him. Anybody? Yeah, okay, all right, good. You movie fans from the 80s, good stuff. Um, yeah, Jaime Escalante was a, a real teacher. He taught uh, working class students in East LA how to do calculus. He took one of the most uh, difficult, challenging areas of mathematics and taught it to students that nobody, not one, thought could learn it. And he did it well and he did it great and the students were successful. So I think as educators, our job is to do both of those, is to combine that. Teach creativity and rigor. And I believe that the best way to do that is to teach computer programming. Let me give you an example. All right, we got a couple programmers out here. <laughs> okay. Take my favorite game, Angry Birds. Anybody ever play this? Okay, yeah, it's good stuff. Okay, for those of you who have not played the game, it's a great creative concept. You've got these birds, and like birds everywhere, they've got eggs. Um, you've got these pigs, they come along, they take the eggs. The birds are understandably... Good, you're listening. Very good. Uh, they're angry. They're pissed. They want revenge. Okay? Now, think about that. How do we create that programming? What kind of conceptual understanding do we need to create a virtual world? We need logical thinking. We need problem-solving skills. And especially abstract thinking to turn this into that. So is this what we're doing in our schools? I think in a lot of cases, if, we, if we're honest about what we really do with all this technology we're investing in, we're writing reports, we're researching on the internet, we're doing PowerPoint and keynote presentations, uh, podcasting, we're doing videos. And, but is this really a 21st century thing? And I wanna, want you to think about that for a second. Okay? So take two teachers. Okay? Teacher A is over here. Teacher A says, hey, my students are writing. How do you feel about that? Well, of course, you're a teacher. Your, te your students should be writing. What do you want, a cookie? Okay. <laughs> teacher B, I stole that from Chris Rock. Um, teacher B over here says, hey, my students are blogging. And all of a sudden, we're like, whoa, kind of Keanu Reeves and in in, uh, Bill and Ted or Matrix, right? Blogging. Click, type, click. Okay. I'm sorry, that is not a 21st century skill, clicking. Okay. Um, the skill here is writing. The skill here is thinking, and I think it's really important with all the things that we do that we do not confuse the medium with the skill, okay? And I think that's really important. Um, so technology, it's changing how we assess our students. It's changing how we teach for sure. Um, it's changing how we collaborate, as we just saw. But is it changing what we teach? And I want to explain that with the help of the Shiva, wherever they put my guitar. <laughs> Anyone? That side, okay. Jesus. <laughs> Coming back. There you go, cheers. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now here's the uh, complex metaphor or analogy, whichever one it is. Let English teachers hopefully can let us know. Um, so I want you to think that this guitar is a smartphone. We buy it, we take it home. What's the first thing we do with it? Play with it, right? So maybe we download an app, and this app lets us do this. Can you hear it? Okay, all right. That's a G chord. Um, and a C chord. Okay, kind of cool. I'm having fun, all right. Being creative. Okay, mix it up a little bit. Free bird, no free bird tonight. Um, couple, couple, couple months later, <laughs> couple months later, app version two comes out. 
and uh, the programmers throw in a D chord, and we're very grateful to them for that. It sounds something like this. Hey, getting better, getting a little more creative. I mean, there's a lot you can do with three chords in the truth, okay? Now, uh, Dylan quote. Anyway, um, the, some competitor comes out. Let's say, uh, it doesn't matter, Apple, Google, whatever. They come out and say, hey, download our app because we're going to let you do some really, really cool things with a G, C, and D chord. Something that sounds maybe like this. Okay, very cool. I'm doing cool stuff. And all this technology, all these apps, we're doing cool stuff. Let me ask you this. I got a student. He or she says, you know, teacher, I've, you know, I've got this idea. Um, it's, it's awesome. It's new. I don't quite know how to do it. <sighs> I can't do it with a GCD chord. Something maybe it sounds a little bit like this. Ooh. Out of tune. Fudge. No stairway, I know. I'm breaking the unwritten rule, eh? Where's Steve? Wasn't he talking about tuning guitars earlier? <laughs> okay, let's try it again. Student, this total idea I've never heard of, nobody's ever heard of before, something that sounds just like this. I see why I went into education and not music. Um, Okay, now this is what we're doing with technology, okay? We are teaching students to use this app. We're teaching students to use that app, and these things are good. Okay, I'm not saying it's bad at all, but how do we get from here to here? And there's only one way to do that with computers, and that's through computer programming. Okay, that is the 21st century skill that I want to see the students using. I don't know, maybe some of you might be skeptical about this. Do we really need to teach this uh, in elementary school, and high school? Think about this. I mean, you know, is every student going to be Bill Gates? Probably not. But out there, I'm sure some of you, maybe you teach art, but do you expect every student to become Picasso? Do you teach music and expect every student to become Mozart? Do you teach poetry and expect every student to become Shakespeare? Of course not. But we do teach these things because we believe that this attitudes and skills gained are going to benefit our students whatever they do in the future. And uh, if you're an elementary teacher out there, you're not getting off the hook, because I believe that we do need to teach this in elementary school. Take Mawasada, Japanese figure skater. Did she strap on a pair of skates when she was 15 or 16? No, she did it when she was five. Tiger Woods picked up that first golf club when he was two. Uh, Malcolm Gladwell said it takes 10,000 hours to master something. It's a lot easier to master something if you do it when you're young than when you're older. Okay. Um, I'd like to close, I think, with a quote. Get close to closing with a quote. Do we direct technology or do we let ourselves be directed by it and those who have mastered it? Okay. I don't want to see students tweeting unless they're tweeting about replacing Twitter with their own version. We heard a lot of that tonight, people doing stuff. Steve had a vision. He wanted to create a, a program. Yeah, sorry. He wanted to create a program <laughs> that would teach kids online. He had the skills to do that, he and his team. Um, I don't want to see students blogging unless they're blogging about some innovation. If they're collaborating like we just heard, they got to be collaborating on something new. I told you I had a challenge for you, and here it is. If you are a school administrator, call your principals, call your teachers, get programming in the curriculum. If you're a teacher, call the ICT specialist. Say, hey, I want to do programming in my class. These are the skills I want my students to learn. Monday morning, do it. Don't wait for somebody else. Hell, get out your smartphone right now and do it. Okay. My name is Christian. That was my TED Talk. Thank you.